Good evening. A BBC South East Today investigation has discovered that two predatory paedophile vicars were allowed to continue working in East Sussex churches after serious concerns had been raised about their behaviour. Despite two police investigations, Roy Cotton, who had a conviction for a sexual offence against a child, and Colin Pritchard were able to continue with their religious duties. It comes after we exclusively revealed concerns about Father Ronald Glazebrook. In response to our investigation, the church has appointed a leading judge to look into the issues we've raised. Colin Campbell has this exclusive report. Three predatory paedophile priests, all working in East Sussex churches in the 90s, a convicted sex offender, a man with a criminal record and a history of disciplinary problems, a vicar with a string of allegations for serious sexual abuse. Disturbingly, though, all allowed to continue to work with the permission of bishops. I, I think they are more than safeguarding errors. Um, there seems to have been an almost malicious and deliberate attempt to, to bypass the safeguarding measures that exist. Deceased vicar Roy Cotton served as a parish priest until 1999. He died in 2006 two weeks before he was due to be arrested for serious sexual offences against a number of children. But we've learned the church knew he was a man who should never have been ordained as a priest. In 1954, we've discovered he was convicted of gross indecency against a choir boy. Despite this conviction, which lay on his church career file, he was free to work within the Anglican church. In 1997, whilst working as the rector of St George's in Breed, he was again arrested after two victims revealed they'd been abused by him. Even though the diocese was informed of Cotton's arrest, he was able to continue at St George's. In 1999, after his retirement and after police decided not to press charges, he was even given further official permission to work at other churches, without, it seems, any safeguards. Chris Mills is a child protection expert who works as a national policy advisor for a large children's charity. People who have serious convictions uh, of offences against children uh, should never be allowed to work with children uh, in any unsupervised capacity. At that time in 97, I mean, it's clear that, uh, again, that anybody who, uh, where serious allegations and police investigations are going on, needs to be suspended. Roy Cotton's victims say they were abused by the priest on foreign holidays and camping trips. Reverend Colin Pritchard also took part in the abuse. The former vicar of St Barnabas in Becks Hill was convicted in 2008 after admitting seven sexual offences against children in the 70s and 80s. Victims of the pair spoke out after the trial. I was absolutely terrified because I believed, I thought, that I would have to deal with them both together. I believe there are lots of other victims out there of, like myself. But disturbingly, our investigations have discovered further previously unknown child protection failings. Pritchard was arrested with Cotton in December 97. Two years later, the CPS decided there wasn't enough evidence against them, but their files remained open. Despite the serious allegations, Pritchard was able to work for six years at St Barnabas in Bex Hill, again it seems without any supervision. In 2006, Northamptonshire Police started a fresh investigation after another victim came forward. We understand senior clergy were informed. But astonishingly, Colin Pritchard was again allowed to continue work. In retirement, he was even given further official permission by a bishop. We interviewed Pritchard after his church was set on fire. A large part of our ministry in this parish is to the care homes and the nursing homes. Um, all that will carry on and our work with um, young children will carry on. Embarrassingly, that child contact continued because no safeguarding was put in place. Pritchard was only suspended in September 2007 when a new safeguarding officer started working for the diocese and realised he was a risk. The following year at Northamptonshire Crown Court, he was sentenced to five years in prison. After the trial, the current Bishop of Chichester commissioned an independent investigation to look specifically into the cases of Cotton and Pritchard. 
Despite repeat requests, the Diocese of Chichester is refusing to release the findings to us. They say that the inquiry was confidential and for internal use only. So why then have they commissioned a second inquiry when they've already conducted one? Well, the church's own safeguarding expert has told us it's because the diocese has issues with the findings of the first report. Colin Pritchard finished his career in disgrace at Christ Church in St Leonard's. Five years earlier and he would have crossed paths with Father Ronald Glazebrook, another priest who groomed then abused boys. A man with a criminal conviction for possession of a handgun who it seems had been suspended because of his appalling disciplinary record. A pensioner who some it seems knew was a risk and whose church case file has been lost. Another example of a priest who shouldn't have been given permission by bishops to work in East Sussex. People have been very, very badly hurt by clergy and others and, and it needs to be dealt with. Cotton, Glazebrook and Pritchard use their positions of trust to abuse children. Serious concerns were raised but overlooked by the church. Action delayed. The question is, to what cost? Well, that was our Home Affairs correspondent, Colin Campbell, reporting. And he joins us live from St Andrew's Church in Eastbourne, which is the, uh, the church that Roy Cotton attended up to 1984. Uh, Colin, have we had any reaction from the diocese? Well, naturally, we have been trying to seek a right of reply from the diocese, and within the last half hour, they have emailed us a statement. The statement goes on to say that at the moment, the diocese does not wish to comment on the findings of our investigation because they've commissioned their own inquiry to be headed by a high court judge. Now, the statement goes on to say that the diocese of Chichester gives the protection of children the highest priority and takes seriously all concerns raised. Now, another interesting point is that we have learned that the diocese of Chichester's safeguarding officer, the woman whose job it is to try to protect children and ensure that priests who are a risk and not in churches has resigned her position. The diocese is refusing to discuss the reasons why. I think the findings though of my investigation highlight the fact that the alarm bells were ringing very loudly for all three of these priests and the church it seems failed to take any action uh, whatsoever. In particular for Colin Pritchard and Roy Cotton. Another issue is that this isn't just historic, it goes as far forward as uh, February 2007. Okay Colin, thank you.